Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, June 28, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, on Friday, we did fell quite a bit here in the, in the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we're, we're down roughly 0.37% to the downside. We did break the 150 moving average and trading at 1387 at this current stage. Due to the fact that we did break the 150 moving average, it's fairly likely that we'll start it by basically below the 100, 150 moving average. And that could mean that we'll go back towards the 200 moving average. If we do break the 200 moving average, we could see this drop significantly down all the way down to the 300 moving average down here at 13. Uh, 49. If you look at technical indicators, we may run into a major resistance support and down here at 1380, down at the bottom of the bullish band. So the enter is, yeah, at the bottom of the bullish band. And if you look at other technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is bearish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and so is the classic has completely turned around here in the daily chart. There's not a lot of room to the downside before we rally that. So we may well go back towards these previous lows here and bounce and so on. But due to the fact that we got rejected by the 20 exponential moving average here and also here, that could signal that we this is basically not the end of this downturn. So it kind of depends also on the US dollar index, whether or not it continues to appreciate or depreciate. At the moment, it's still above the 200 moving average. And as long as that is the case, we'll probably see uh, more appreciation from the US dollar index. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. This also fell towards the 20 exponential and then rallied quite significantly at the end of the session. So at this point, MACD is bullish, RSI is flat, CCI is bullish, stochastic is almost crossed the signal line, but still in bullish territory. And we did break towards the middle of the bullish band, but really rallied at the end of the session. So we may see this uh, um, retest the 20 exponential or basically fall further when Monday uh, can, well, opens. And, um, and uh, if you look at... Uh, the previous trends for this currency pair, we can see that it has basically bounced from the 40 exponential and the 20 exponential. So we can say right here and also here. So there is quite a lot of support underneath and we are basically in an upward channel at the moment. If we were to break below the 40, we have the 50 underneath and the 100 moving average. And these, all of these or all four of those um, moving averages are probably where buyers will come back in and 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 buy at the lows. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. We can see that it has tried to break above the 300 moving average as tested it four times in the last week and got rejected every single time. Even here on Friday when we, uh, Friday when we got fairly uh, far above the 300 moving average, it basically lost momentum and fell underneath and basically closed underneath. And that's not a really good sign. So it could mean that we'll drop back towards these previous lows. If this basically break, then we are looking at significantly lower levels. We could drop all the way down towards uh, 1170, which is a drop of roughly uh, 2% to the downside. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still uh, bearish, the RSI is flat, the CCI is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and we are approaching the middle of the Bollinger Band here. So a few things. First of all, there's quite a lot of room towards the upside to the bullish band, middle of the bullish band, and we are significantly oversold at this point. So even if we were to fall here, we probably won't have a massive fall to the downside due to the fact that we'll run into the bottom of the bullish band and also that we are significantly oversold at this point. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. We can see that we have rallied up towards the 20 exponential and we created basically a shooting star here. If we start uh, negative on Monday's session, that could be that mean that we'll go back towards the 300 moving average. Break of the 300 moving average, then basically we're probably looking at the 71, 0 0.71. So a massive drop to the downside if that were the case. So we did rally up towards the middle of the bullish band, got rejected here, created the shooting star, and usually that is not a very good sign, uh, that rejection. If we broke above the middle of the bullish band, then we could go back, but 
looks like we are going to turn around here and head back towards the 300 moving average. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is still bullish, the RSI is bullish, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is bullish at this point. So momentum, of course, in these indicators are showing to momentum to the upside due to the fact that we had five consecutive days where this was rallying until we head into Friday and got really rejected at the 20 exponential. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, this has kind of been all over the place, but kind of see that we are finding support just at the 20 exponential we tested it here bounce does it here bounce so if this is the case and then we may well be heading back towards the 150 moving average at 1245 if we break below the 50 here then we were dropping back towards the previous old very very low down here at 1188 if you look at technical indicators they kind of turning around so um it is 50 50 whether or not we rally from here or basically break down so hope you find this helpful you're willing to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much